Let's bring in our Karina Roman for a closer look at the enormous diplomatic energy being trained on Israel and on Gaza, both to win release of hostages and prevent the conflict from uh, expanding. So Karina, Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie spoke earlier from the United Arab Emirates. What's she saying? Well, she is there, and she was in Cairo over the weekend, mainly to speak with her counterparts, mainly to try and work on de-escalation. I mean, the, it totally depends on these Arab countries uh, to help with that, to make sure that this conflict does not spill over. And so she's there making those that case uh, to her counterparts. She did also talk about how right now Gaza is probably the worst place on earth to be. So she's Happy to see humanitarian aid get in. Uh, Canada did ple pledge another $50 million uh, over the weekend towards that end. Uh, but, of course, also noting that what's going in right now is just a fraction of what is needed. Uh, she has spoken with uh, the Canadian embassy staff in Cairo about getting ready for the possible evacuation of Canadians and permanent residents and their families from Gaza out of Gaza. That hasn't happened yet. There had been hope that the humanitarian corridor, once opened to go in, meant that people could come out. That hasn't happened yet, but they, she says they are trying to get ready for that. Uh, on the question, though, that keeps coming up uh, in the last week, uh, especially here domestically, politically, is why Canada is not calling for a ceasefire if there's such great concern over civilian deaths, uh, especially what's happening in Gaza. Um, why, why can't Canada call for a ceasefire? It's something that's been called for by MPs in a letter, both the NDP and Liberal MPs, uh, as well as Jagmeet Singh, the leader of the NDP, a letter directly to the Prime Minister calling for that, and he also called for in question period today. Now, part of the issue here uh, is something that the government doesn't really spell out, but there is this concern that if Israel has the right to defend itself, part of that defense includes stamping out Hamas or the threat that Hamas poses. Uh, a ceasefire would put an end to those efforts by Israel. Uh, and so you haven't seen the Canadian government, whose position is that Israel has a right to defend itself, uh, say yes to the calling of a ceasefire. Melanie Jolie was asked many times about that and specifically asked if the right of Israel to defend itself is the reason why Canada is not calling for a ceasefire. Uh, she sidestepped that question, instead talking about the long-term goal of peace and stability in the region. Have a listen. We are ready to support even more work on a political dialogue and that we should not shy away from a collective responsibility to talk about peace because this is the only region that this is the only uh, way, the only reason to make sure that ultimately we can bring back stability, which will lead to prosperity in the region. But that is a mid to long term goal, which means there at this point is definitely not a call from Canada or many allies uh, for a ceasefire. And Karina, do, do we know anything more about the next steps for possible evacuation efforts for Canadians in the region? We do know some degree that if they're still working on the West Bank, they've had 45 people uh, get out of the West Bank. Uh, they've had their 19th and for now final flight out of Tel Aviv to Athens. Uh, that seems to be uh, finished now, that the operation, uh, because demand is not there anymore. But uh, they are keeping that plane and resources, including Canadian Armed Forces personnel in the region because of the concerns over Lebanon. The, the border, the northern border of Israel with Lebanon, but also within Lebanon itself. Uh, there have been repeated calls by the Canadian government, by Melanie Jolie, for Canadians in Lebanon to get out now while they can on commercial flights. There is, of course, a speculation, and Bill Blair, the defense minister, did sort of speak to this earlier uh, about a plan for an assisted departure if it gets to that uh, out of Lebanon, uh, but not not being given specifics on whether that would be a land, sea, air evacuation, uh, how that would be uh, executed, uh, and certainly how that would be paid for, because there are over 16,000 registered Canadians in Lebanon. That's a fraction, very likely, of the actual number of people there who would need to get out if the situation deteriorates uh, in that region. Karina, thank you. The CBC's Karina Roman, live in Ottawa.